It's collage time. Indubitably. Hey, Power Director Peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the video collage designer in PowerDirector 16. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in PowerDirector 16 and I'm about to show you how to collage. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to PowerDirector University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. The video collage designer allows you to create professional composites of multiple videos without having to use the PIP designer, mass designer, or keyframes. It creates a single clip which contains several videos with animation and all kinds of good gravy, golly gee whittacles, I'm ready to collage. As you can see, I have some video clips in the media library. So what I need to do now is I need to go up here to the plugins button. And when I click on that, I then go to video collage designer. Now, if you did not import your videos before accessing the video collage designer, that's okay. You can still do it here through the import media button and you can go look at all the media, all the color boards, all that stuff using the drop down next to it. So you got a lot of options to get your videos into the collage designer. So what I want to do now is let's make this big. Let's blow up the spot. So what we want to do now is select our layout from the top of the screen. Now you can choose from several layouts and the maximum amount of videos in a collage is seven. And since I got five videos here, let's just choose a collage template with five. The numbers indicate the order in which the videos will show up or go through animations based on the playback options that you select later on. So keep this in mind when placing your videos in the template. If you're not too concerned about the order, you can choose the autofill button here and the template will fill up with all of the clips that you have in the library. Uh, if you want a specific order, you can drag the clips into the template one by one into the position that you prefer. Now, if you make a mistake after a clip has been added, all you got to do is place your cursor over it, hold down your left mouse, and you can drag this puppy right off until you see this little trash bin. Let go of your left mouse button and then it's gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one back in there. If you don't like the position of a clip, then you can place your cursor over a clip until you see the crosshairs. You can hold down your left mouse and you can move the position left or right. You can also change the position of the borders. If you wanna customize this more, you can just Place your cursor over a area until you see the line with the two arrows pointing up and down. And then I can actually reposition my template border how I want. The duration of each clip is in the top of each template. So you can see this one, three seconds, 17, and so on. Now, if you place your cursor and you hover over any of these clips, then there will be two icons at the top left. First one allows you to mute or unmute the volume of a specific clip. And then the second one allows you to trim a specific clip. So if I want it to just show a specific part of the video, or I want it to match the duration of all the videos, I can trim them to do that. So if I click on this, let's say, I'll mute this clip and then I can click on the trim button and when I click on that then the 
trim function will open up and I can just trim the video down and then when I'm done trimming it I can just click on OK and now if I want to I can just play this back and then I have to press the stop button in order to go back to do more editing. I have even more control over the video collage designer. Over here to the right, I have a settings button. If I click on settings, I get several options. The first one is playback timing. So the first option is all at once. So that makes all the videos start playing at the same time. Then we have a delay option. So if I choose delay, I can change the duration of the delay. Say I make it five seconds. And what this does is it will make each video start playing five seconds after the other one starts playing. Okay. And then you have one option here called one after another. And with this option, a video will play all the way to the end. Then the next video will start playing and play all the way to the end and so on and so forth. So I'm going to keep this on all at once. And then the next option we have is start clip playback. And we can choose to start it at the same time that the animation starts or after the animation has finished. So I'm going to leave it on with frame animation. And then the last option on the screen is before after clip playback. So based on how your playback timing is set up, you can choose to freeze the video or you can choose to display a color board. And so you can click on this and change the color of the color board if you want to do that. Or you can do restart playback, which will basically make a video just loop. So I'm gonna leave mine on freeze the video. Once you're done with all these settings and you have it how you like, you can click on okay. And then the next option here is border. So I can choose to disable the border or enable the border. And then I can choose to change the size of the border. And I can change the color of the border. Then the next section is frame animation. And with frame animation, you can choose to turn off your frame animation. So it just plays the videos. Or you can choose whether the frame animation happens at the beginning or at the end of the video. And then the last option on here is match collage duration to. And this is used to match the duration of your collage to a particular clip. So you can match it to the longest clip, the shortest clip, or you can choose one of the individual clips on here. I'm gonna leave it on longest clip. And once you have all your settings dialed in, you just click on OK. And it will add your collage to your timeline. If you need to make adjustments to it, you have the video collage button that's been added here. You can click on that. And it will open your collage back up and allow you to make more adjustments to it if you wish to do so. I'm gonna click on OK. And then you have a beautiful collage that you can go ahead and show off to your people because you know what you're doing with this video editing program. Collage in it. Hashtag collage in it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Happy Ron. Happy Ron makes music videos. So if you like music, head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. 
If you want to get a shout out like Happy Ron did, make sure that you go to our video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial that you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on it. it Let people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any questions, comments, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.